Hi, hello, welcome back. My name is Devaraj. Today I'm going to talk about three reasons why bioenergetics is basically better than psychotherapy. Uh, the first reason, the first thing to talk about is that essentially our issues are all physical in a real sense in that both psychotherapy and bioenergetics, what they're trying to do is remove the influences of repression from the body and the mind. And repression comes, if you've been following my series, you know, from trauma, from conditioning, and uh, the brain learns to repress feelings. Those feelings are repressed into the muscle system. So this is a physical process. With bioenergetics, we work at a muscular level to take the charge which accumulates in the muscles from repression out, leaving our energy much clearer, leaving us with more energy, able to flow, able to move forwards in a good way. With psychotherapy, what they're trying to do is introspect and go in through the mind and look, you know, OK, you know, what happened to me when I was a kid? Try to access the feelings, you know, a psychotherapist will guide you into the feelings, trying to get you in there and to get you to release. There's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, why work at a mental level when the issue is residing at a physical level and you can approach it at a physical level? Simple as that. That's the first reason. The second reason is that psychotherapy is not so useful with young people, people in their teens or in their 20s or often in their young 30s. You know, their energy is quite high. Their ego is quite strong. They don't really want to introspect massively on bad shit that may or may not have happened in their childhoods. You know, I don't blame them. You know, it's not the time of your life when you want to do that. And psychotherapy is relying on you being open to doing that. But bioenergetics, all you have to do is put your body in certain postures, breathe and feel and allow what's there simply to move and come out. Maybe you go into lots of deep feelings. Maybe you don't. Maybe the charge just dissipates out. So it works much better for younger people. And thirdly, the reality is at a much deeper level, the mind and the ego are just being created by the brain, by the physical hardware of the brain and the body, essentially. And so, you know, when we try to get in, you know, and it's an illusion, essentially, it is on a deeper level, really an illusion. So, you know, finally, why use something that's an illusion to try and create change when you can go into something real, something physical, the actual body? And when you use bioenergetics extensively, what happens is you take the holding out, you know, your mind goes through phases of resistance and fear and control and whatever. But at some point it starts to just let go of the control and it starts to realize that it doesn't need that level of control. You know, you go through a process with bioenergetics and your mind just kind of boots up afterwards. Your, your ego just boots up and it's different from how it was before. It's clearer and it's cleaner. So this is another this is a great reason why bio really, really works and psychotherapy fails. And finally, just to close, those are the three reasons, but I just want to close on saying, you know, this is not to put psychotherapy down. It has helped countless millions of people, but time is moving on and new stuff is emerging and it is possible to go in much quicker and faster than with psychotherapy. And for many people, this may work much, much better. Some people may still really prefer just to sit with someone and to talk about their issues. And that's great. But there are other options. And hopefully, if our society progresses, you know, more and more people will become aware of these new options. Stuff like bio is at the cutting edge. OK, guys, thank you for tuning in and for listening to my talk today. My name is Devaraj. Check out the work I'm doing. Come to a workshop. Hit me up for a session, whatever. I'm developing an online training academy very soon as well. And a book is coming out in 2020. Speak to you later.